cannot legislate it out. If people will do it, they will do it. What we are trying to do in Cebu is to regulate it precisely to minimize the abuses that is occurring in that particular industry. Under UNCAS, there will be less accidents because they are trained. There will be less cheating of the customer because we know who they are. And there will be no abuses in prices. So we are really separating what is regulated on gas and the other half of level drivers. We're trying to put things in solid industries. I can say that Ancas is contributing to the improvement of traffic in Cebu. The normal tradition way for Hubble Hubble drivers is to clock the intersections. Under a cash report, and they will come to you. And so we do not have these clock intersections. We want to eliminate that. And a cash application addresses that problem, which brings down the issue of public good. And this way, I can show you that public good is different from what government is telling us to do. If I were to wait, I'd just like to remind you, I'm being paid by the people of Cebu, not by Manila, not by LDFRB. Don't forget that ANCAS provides a service. It's not just a question of the livelihood of the drivers. They provide a service, and people complain to me. Mayor, don't stop on class because I won't be able to go to work on time. I won't be able to go to school on time. What would I tell them? Sorry, the law is like that. I believe that the law should serve the people. What you're saying, the people should serve the law. Monday or Friday. is also part of the deficiency of the LTFRB and the LTO. I have to hire 400 traffic enforcers because you cannot. Now am I supposed to eliminate all of the half and half drivers as well? There is such a thing as public welfare laws. No matter what says, the law always recognizes that any instruction must be reasonable. It must be reasonable to the people whom the law is supposed to serve. And unfortunately, what I see today is creating a trauma. Creating a trauma to the small people of Cebu. They tell me, I can't go to work. I can't make my classes. If I go to work late, I'll be deducted. These are real people, and each one of them has a face. I'm the one that has to serve them. I'm the one that has to see to it. And then also we have this attitude uh, of ignoring the small businessmen. We have a country where the rich get richer. What about the small guy? What about the small guy who has his own car because he wants to join Grab? <coughs> You mean for him to be a businessman, he has to own 50 taxis? What about the person who saves his money to have his own motorcycle? Are we going to produce a country where all our young people will end up as sales girls and SM or security guards? Is this, is this the direction we're headed for? We have an obligation to the people. I'll never forget that. And let me remind you. Let me remind you that what is happening today is not tolerable. Because you know what the message is? You're making a fool out of the president. Because the president is promoting federalism. Is this federalism? You want to allow the local government to have its own solution? That you have to dictate to us what to do? My story is very simple. 
I just want for the sanity in your streets. I want to do it as efficiently as possible, as transparently as possible, as cheaply as possible, and help the people as much as possible. No more, no less. And you don't think that won't. I'm sorry to say. Thank you very much.